dive right into it. Okay. So let's go over all the different debt tools if you're brand new. This is a this is a refresher for all of my loyal subscribers and clients, but it's always good just to hear it again consistently when you're mapping out your strategy. Even if you have a debt tool already, you might be in a position where you've been doing velocity banking for say a, a, a year or a year and a half or two, and we should be upgrading the line of credit. You know, maybe you've been rocking with a personal line of credit at nine to 11, 12%. I was just dealing with a client recently, they're at a personal line of credit for 12.75%. And I think this was with PNC Bank. So they have a personal line of credit and they have a ton of equity in their home. So I'm like, it's time to upgrade, right? It's time to get a second lien or a first lien HELOC and dramatically reduce your borrowing costs from 12.75 down to between three and a half and five and a half percent, right? So this will apply. This, this information here will apply to those who already are doing velocity banking and you're always looking to improve your strategy overall. So review on the debt tools, we've got credit cards, right? This applies to personal and business. Okay? We can find really unique credit cards that literally operate just like a personal line of credit, meaning we're able to withdraw credit from the credit card limit into cash without paying any cash advance fee or balance transfer fee. You will typically find this at smaller banks, credit unions, typically. Most other credit cards that we do velocity banking with have to come with a 0% intro rate, 12 months, 21 months, right? 18 months, 0% on purchases for that same amount of time with a balance transfer fee, preferably under 3%, right? There are quite a few balance transfer cards out there that are in the neighborhood of 5%, 4%. You know, that's pretty high. Um, in some cases, it might make sense if there's nothing else that we qualify for, if there's nothing else that we can use for the time being. But still, when you're looking for credit cards, we wanna shop around, right? We wanna find the best card catered to our strategy. So we got those credit cards. We've got personal, unsecured, revolving lines of credit, PLOC for short, or BLOC business line of credit. This is the next stage up from a credit card, right? Where you don't, where you, these rates are always lower than credit card rates for the most part, right? So it's one debt tool better than the first, right? The first debt tool that most people have or will get when they first come across Velocity Banking typically is a credit card, right? Most of us already have one in our system and it can be added to a PLOC or a HELOC, right? It works perfectly together, right? So having a credit card is definitely, I would argue, essential in velocity banking. Don't You don't absolutely need it, but it's phenomenal in terms of offsetting the borrowing costs on your main debt tool, right? So that's key. So PLOC, BLOC, then you've got HELOCs. That's the next stage up is a home equity line of credit, either in the first or second position. And just a refresher, if you don't know what a first lien HELOC is or a second, a first lien HELOC literally replaces your first lien mortgage. Your traditional amortized 30 year, 15 year mortgage gets replaced with a first lien HELOC. So if you owed 250,000 on your property in a 30 year mortgage and the property value was 400,000, we could get say a 320,000, 350,000 or so home equity line of credit in the first position where day one you would owe that 250 in the line. So now your debt tool is what you're doing velocity banking on because you moved one debt into your new debt tool, that first lien HELOC. And these rates are typically always lower than credit cards and PLOCs and BLOCs, right? So that's one step up. A second lien HELOC is in the second position. You'd, you would have your first position mortgage, then you'd have this second lien, which is a home equity line of credit for typically a smaller amount, right? They look at the equity in your property and you get maybe 70, 80% of the uh, LTV. So maybe I've seen as high as 100 plus thousand, 150 plus thousand in the, in the second position is what I've seen. And I've seen rates as low as 1.99%. I think I've seen something at 0.99% once, right? So they can be extremely low for a temporary period of time. With HELOCs, you have 
fixed rate options and variable rate options. Typically when doing velocity banking, I do, most people tend to go with the variable rate option simply because a lot of the times they come with like an intro rate offer, right? Like I was saying, like 1.99, 2.99, 3.5, something really low in comparison to all your other debts that you're paying on. And they'll lock in that rate for say six months or one year, sometimes even as long as two years. And then it'll jump to the variable rate at that point. Well, in that first year of velocity banking or year and a half, two years, we can cause so much damage in your debt that by the time the rate changes to a uh, higher rate, when it jumps to the prime plus whatever rate it is, say it went from two and a half percent, it jumps all the way back up to five and a half. That's not going to affect us in any way because how we're doing velocity banking, we, we're going to consistently continue to pay less than we're always paying less than whatever the rate is on our debt tool so if i have a a heloc at five and a half percent in reality i'm only paying less than two percent so if i started out with a two and a half percent heloc or three percent i'm probably paying like one less than one one and a half right and it'll stay that way regardless of the rate going up so it doesn't affect us so when the rate goes to five and a half we're still paying between one and two percent because by then cash flow went up, right? Uh, possibly income went up. Debts got eliminated. You're already in offsetting effect. Okay. So oftentimes we go with variables. So that's HELOC first or second. Then you've got the all in one loan, which is basically a first lien HELOC, but it is calculated in terms of the interest very differently than your traditional first or second lien HELOCs. And this rate on an all in one loan is typically around the same rates as a home equity line of credit. I think right now they're floating around maybe a little over 4%, okay? So this is a very uh, unique product, all in one loan. I only know one institution that is providing all in one loans, and that is called CMG Financial. If you know of, a, of another one, go ahead and drop it in the comments, or if you're catching the replay, go ahead and drop it in the comments. There's another bank called First Savings Bank, that offers a first lien HELOC, but very different from the traditional first lien HELOCs, okay? And if you go to my website, you go to resources or in the description below this, this video, you'll see a link that says first lien HELOC resource. And you can check that out. Those are like the, the best debt tools that I've come across so far in the marketplace, all in one loans, and first lien HELOCs with First Savings Bank in particular, right? And again, look at the description below. There's a link. I'll even drop it in the chat later so you guys can check that out. And then as it relates to the all-in-one loan, CMG Financial, you just Google that. Um, I've done content in the past. So if you typed in all-in-one loan, uh, you'll likely see my video or someone else's video talking about it. Um, they, they have loan officers pretty much in every state. Um, so there's not one source to go to, right? You, there's a multitude of people that you can speak with. So those are arguably the best debt tools that banks offer, right? For the collateral on our properties, right? So this only applies to people who have properties, right? And then the PLOCs and the credit cards, those are the best debt tools that say don't require any initial capital upfront, right? It's just based off your credit worthiness. Now at the same time, we can get secured PLOCs, secured credit cards, secured business lines of credit. For those who don't have great credit, it's a great tool uh, to help build up your credit while preserving your capital, your savings. We don't have to lose it in the process of paying off debt, right? We can double it up, right? If I have 30,000 in savings and you're thinking, should I just throw the 30 grand at my save at my uh, debt and then that knocks it down well that's a one-time use or you could say i'll collateralize the 30 bank gives me another 30 that's 60k right and some people are like no that's not true no it is you got 30k secured the bank gives you another 30 that's 60. now it just depends on how you use it in order to multiply the use of one dollar right and that's that's a, a key thing behind velocity banking okay then there's these um strategic debt tools that require capital okay you have what something that's called a cash value collateral loan 
or an insurance backed line of credit. So this is for people who are practicing the infinite banking concept. You've been saving money in your life insurance policy. So you've been building up a lot of cash value in it. At a certain point, you'll be able to go to a bank, not every bank. There's a limited amount of banks that I know of M and M bank, bank corp. And there's a few others that if you uh, emailed me directly, I can uh, send you a list, but there's a limited amount of banks that offer this insurance backline or credit. Once you reach a certain amount in your cash value, I think over 65,000 or over 70,000 plus in cash value, you're able to go to a bank and get up to 95% of the cash value in the form of a line of credit. Typically, at a lower rate than whatever the policy loan rate is from the insurance company. And then from there, when you combine infinite banking, because your money is growing tax-free compounded in the policy, and then you combine it with velocity banking, my goodness, you're, you're, you're on a roll. And especially if you do it through a business, you get an insurance backed line of credit under your business, then the interest is potentially tax deductible, right? So that's a great debt tool. I've seen rates as low as three, three and a half percent in this environment. Now, although I do think lately the rates have gone up a little bit, so I've seen like 3.75 or 4, 4.25, um, the more money you have in cash value, the lesser the rate would be, right? So if you have over a million dollars in cash value, you probably could get like a three and a half or lower uh, percentage rate. Finally is the securities backed line of credit. This is phenomenal for people who have um, assets already, like your retirement accounts, 401ks and things like that. We could, certain banks, not all banks, but we can collateralize, say your half a million dollar 401k and get a $200,000 line of credit or $250,000 line of credit, let's say. Depends on the amount that that institution is willing to give based on how much you have. So maybe only 50% or 60% of, of the total amount you have in that uh, retirement vehicle, right? So say 401k. Very unique product um, that you could get an extremely low rate, right? Typically under 4% from what I've seen. And what's nice is again, that you've got your asset that keeps growing. Maybe you're continuing to fund it. Meanwhile, you're able to use it to accelerate your debt even faster because now you have more capital to work with at a lower rate. And you're basically consolidating all the bat, all that high interest debt into this low interest, simple revolving line of credit. And then you do velocity banking, dumping all your income in, taking expenses out, cash flow stays. You go extremely faster than probably most of the tools here on on the board so that is a nice review of all the debt tools that are available and if you come across other things go ahead drop a link okay in the comment section let us know moving on to banks in south carolina okay and just so you know i will be in south carolina uh october 7th to the 9th i'm going to be speaking on october 8th okay in a town or a city I'm not sure, called St. Matthews, right? So if you live in South Carolina, you're a client of mine, or you've been following me for a while, here's a great opportunity for, for us to meet in person. We can brainstorm, we can mastermind. Um, one of my clients who is here, actually in the chat, I saw them earlier. Pearl here is uh, hosting the event, putting it all together. Uh, she's bringing me up to South Carolina. Okay, I'm in South Florida. So we're gonna hang out together. I already have some clients that have uh, expressed interest and one or two who have already bought tickets. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the chat so that you guys can check that out. If you go to my website, uh, DenzelRodriguez.com, you'll see a tab that says financial events, right? When you click on that, you'll see the first uh, event it says October 8th, where I'll be speaking all the details, tickets, um, that's a phenomenal opportunity for us to get together, right? So coming back to the board here, I figured it'd be great to uh, discuss South Carolina because I'm gonna be up there pretty soon, right? So, but let me let me put that link first before I forget. Let me get that for you guys. Boom, all right, link is there. So check that out when you get the chance. ZellRodriguez.com forward slash financial dash events, and we'll get started. Coming back to the board here, Banks in South Carolina. So I went ahead and did a bunch of research on all the credit unions, okay? I just stuck with credit unions. 
because I'm being specific to that state, right? These banks only exist in South Carolina, right? From what I understand, right? Now, you've got nationwide banks, you've got federal credit unions that maybe cover more than one state, maybe two or three, four or five, right? So some of these banks may do that, but their primary headquarters or location is in South Carolina. When we're doing velocity banking, I typically uh, recommend that my clients, when they're looking for a debt tool, you go in state first, you know, do a 25 mile radius, right? Or maybe as far as maybe 50, just depends on where you live. Like if you live, you know, 30 miles away from the closest town, then you're going to want to obviously expand your radius. But uh, just looking within your state is cool, right? So you would do credit unions, you just Google it, credit unions or best credit unions in South Carolina, in Texas, in Florida, in New York, right? And then just put a whole different list together, see all the banks that exist, and then go one by one, go to their website one by one, right? And you're going to look to see if you see a credit card, a line of credit, or a HELOC, right? Once you see it, write that bank down in your notes. Look for the number, write that down. You can do that maybe five to seven times, right? You want to build a list. And then one by one, you're going to call each and every one of these banks. So looking at South Carolina, you've got South Carolina Federal Credit Union, Founders Federal Credit Union, okay? So the SC all stands for South Carolina. FCU stands for Federal Credit Union. And then CU is just Credit Union, okay? So here's the different list. I'll share my screen in a minute and I'll go literally one by one so you can see just how to properly qualify the line of credit before you apply, right? It's, it's great to get all the information on how to apply and get approved for the line of credit, but what if it wasn't qualified, right? Then it's like, now you got the wrong debt tool. You did everything right on the approval side of things, but you ended up getting the, an inefficient debt tool for your strategy, okay? So here's a simple script, nothing crazy, okay? This script builds temporary rapport with the bank and it's peaceful and, you know, if you do it in a in your softest, you know, voice, you'd be surprised what information you can grab, right? And I've had clients do this multiple times. The goal is for you to build rapport with that bank early on and try and gather as much data as we possibly can because we're qualifying the bank and the line of credit itself, right? So, hello, my name is Denzel. How are you today? Good. Now, typically when you call the bank, they will say, hello, welcome to South Carolina Federal Credit Union. My name is Susie, right? So you'll probably capture their name, okay? If you don't, ask them what their name is, okay? That's the first step of building rapport is when you say people's names and you recognize them, right? So you say, hello, my name is, boom. How are you today, Susie? question mark wait for an answer awesome glad you're having a great day i am too here's what i need from you today you know you can say something like that we go right into it and you say can you connect me to the department that handles x y and z the debt tool now you're not going to say debt tool because they might hang up on you okay so you don't say that i'm just showing you pointing you back over here okay so you say can you connect me to the department that handles um, personal line of credit and home equity line of credit. I'm looking to get information on that. Sure, I'll connect you. Or they might say, I can help you with that. Okay, great. Thank you. Can you give me all the requirements needed to be approved for your HELOC, home equity line of credit? Oh, I'm sorry, Denzel. At the moment, we are not offering any home equity line of credit. Thank you. I appreciate your help today. Will there be anything else you need, Mr. Rodriguez? No. Thank you very much. Boom. Done. Right? So you just saved so much time, right? And and what people do sometimes, they, they go to the bank, right? Or not directly to it, but they go to the website. They see home equity line of credit on there, right? So they, they see the information. It looks like the bank is, is offering it. But when you called, when you called, they're not. Why is my computer going off? That's weird. So when you called, they're not. So you're like, but why is it on your website? That's a bit misleading. Yes, it happens. Banks, by the time they update their website, okay, it takes them a while to update their website before they remove a product off the marketplace because of what's happening 
in the marketplace how things are happening so fast in today's economy right so by the time they update the website they're like you applied because you thought it was on there you get denied and the reason why you got denied was because they wasn't even offering it so they ran your credit right so that's a, a a quick you know valuable step right there to avoid getting any additional inquiries that we don't need okay qualifying the bank to qualify the line of credit to get all the information that we need to be approved right so you might be watching videos on where it says you know how to get approved at any bank right well the problem with that in those types of videos is they might go out of date right they might be out of context sometimes the general information is good i like to do black and white stuff i like to go to the source of any particular thing go to the source so if i'm looking at south carolina federal credit union it's on my list as a bank i'm going to look at because i live in south carolina i'm going to call that bank run through this quick little script here build rapport say hello my name is how are you today from there you're going to say can you point me to the to the department can you connect me to someone at your bank that knows everything about home equity line of credit and or the personal line of credit boom they connect you from there now you have someone again repeat hi my name is what's your name oh hello george how you doing um can you connect me to bomb right um i heard you're the guy to talk to that does you know everything on home equity line of credit or p locks credit cards whatever it is get all those details in advance and you continue to build rapport with that person keep saying their name you know crack a joke here or there you're, you're trying to pull as much data as possible right to see if this is the right tool for you so it's very important stuff very 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 important so recap debt tools banks in south carolina here's what we're looking at here's the script nothing crazy very simple here are some of the key details, right, that you'll ask if they didn't provide it, right? So if you get to this point where it says, you know, can you give me all the requirements needed to be approved for your HELOC, right? Home equity line of credit or, or PLOC, whatever debt tool we're looking at, they're going to go through it. Oh, yeah, we, um, we require a 700 or more credit score. DTI has to be 45%. Um, current interest rate right now is 4.5% with a introductory offer at 3.75% with automatic deposits. Um, you must be a member of the bank. Okay. So you have to have a checking or savings with us in order to get approved for the HELOC. Can you imagine going to the bank's website? You apply, you get denied because they're like, we, we can't accept you because you're not a member. And that was an inquiry, right? They're going to run your credit. So that's why we call first. And then I would even go a step further. When you actually go to apply, I would do it in person at the bank face to face with someone. So they see how serious I am, what I'm looking to accomplish and how they can best serve me, right? So they'll keep going down the list. The um, HELOC is interest only payments, simple interest calculated daily. The draw period is 10 years after that goes to amortize. Um, we do allow you to, re to renew the HELOC after that draw period, right? And then you already went to the credit score and DTI, talked about the discounts, the intro offers. We do offer mobile app, so that you can easily move money uh, from your HELOC to your checking. So we have, you know, very user-friendly banking and mobile. I think that's important with Velocity Banking it has a very user-friendly interface uh, for the app. Because when we're doing Velocity Banking, you're going to have to consistently log in all throughout the month to move money in and out manually when you're using a PLOC or a second lien HELOC, right? When you're using a first lien HELOC, the... Um, the checking account is in the first lien HELOC. It's already like together most of the time. And you'll you'll want to ask those details as well. So if you're looking for a first lien HELOC at say one of these banks or you you went through these, this process in your own state, you want to ask them with the first lien HELOC, is, is there a separate checking account or is it integrated into the line itself? Am I able to set up auto pay? and direct deposits into the HELOC automatically, that is gonna be extremely advantageous for Velocity Banking because it eliminates a lot of steps in Velocity Banking itself. The whole manually moving money in and out um, and then paying bills, right? If that's all automatic, then you're saving more money on interest. So that's pretty powerful. Now, what we'll do is I'm gonna share my screen real quick. 
quick. Boom. So here's what I did. Just typed in credit unions in South Carolina. Nothing crazy. Now, because I'm in South Florida where my computer might get a little weird on me sometimes and it shows me banks where I live because it's looking at my location, right? So if you're in South Carolina, you live there, you should get probably even more banks, right? But it looks like it's showing me the most popular banks in the major cities, I would assume, in South Carolina, right? So the first was South Carolina Federal Credit Union. Boom. I hit the website. I already saw a number there. So I would, you know, jot that down. And I try to see what they're promoting, right? They're promoting different stuff here. Okay. So when I'm looking for the debt tool, typically it's going to be under borrow. You see the credit cards. Cool. We can go there real quick. See what kind of credit cards they got. I got this platinum, platinum cash, world MasterCard. I like cash back rewards cards and the, and the points cards for velocity banking. Cause typically we're recovering the, uh, the crash back each and every month to reduce our borrowing costs. So it says 1% cash back on everything. This is actually not really all that attractive, right? Because when you compare it to some of the bigger banks, now here's where I would say that the bigger banks often will have much better cash back rewards, points, and incentives, right? For the credit card itself. But credit unions typically will have that one unique thing which is the zero percent on balance transfers zero percent on the fee so no fee whatsoever to do a balance transfer and it's zero percent so that's something that's very unique with what you typically will only see with credit unions and uh the fact that you can pull money from the card consistently almost like a cash advance but without the additional interest and fees that come with a cash advance right that's typically only in Credit unions. Here's the next tool, personal line of credit, typically under loans. Need help with extra funds. Looking to make a big purchase, take a trip, pay tuition or repair your car. See how they sell it? They sell it to you to go into more debt, but that's not what we're doing with Velocity Banking. No, we're looking to pay off high interest debt, offset interest costs, increase our cash flow, and reduce our expenses on a monthly basis. Sell it to me that way. I'll buy that all day. But they don't do that because it's not typically that advantageous to teach you anything about personal finance. So it says personal line of credit can provide you with a line of credit for your financing needs. This account can also be used as a overdraft protection for your South Carolina federal checking account. No pre no prepayment penalty. Cool. Proof credit limit. You only need to apply once. Okay, nice. They already disclosed their max it was low as 500 to 25k. Their APR is as low as 12%. That's pretty high, you know, 12%. I'm pretty sure if I went to continue my research, I could probably find a lower rate, right? So I'll write that down for now, 12%. Okay, cool. Let's look at their other things. Boom, home equity lines of credit, low application and closing fees. Okay, so this does have closing costs. When you research other banks, some will have no closing costs whatsoever. Everyday low variable rate payment depends on amount of line used. So that means that their HELOC is most likely a principal and interest only payment, right? So it's principal and interest together. Typically the payments will be higher than a HELOC that just does interest only payments. Now I used to often create content in the past talking about how you want to have a principal and interest only payment. But then as I learn more about Velocity Banking, there really isn't much of a difference other than what's required at the end of each month on that due date. So if you have a interest only HELOC at 3.5% and a principal and interest HELOC at 3.5%, there is no difference as to the how that rate is being charged. It's just what is required, right? With an interest only debt tool, they're not requiring you to make any principal payments. With a principal and interest payment, they're requiring principal to be paid down on the tool itself, right? So then it says that we can check the rates here. Let's see. Eh. So you got to put a bunch of information in. They're probably going to want to capture your email and stuff. Let's see what this is. Okay. That's on mortgages. Gotcha. So some banks have you go through some extra steps. We're not going to do all that here, but I'm just showing you here's, here's how I found my stuff, right? And then finally we'll go to contact us. Boom. Saw the number, right? There's the different areas that they cover. Okay, cool. So you got multiple branches, right? Here are all the locations and you compare it to where you live and you say, okay, boom, that's on my list. Get the address, get the phone number of that specific branch that I want to talk to, right? Let's go back. Let's do the next bank. So let's do 
Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union. I had them all already opened up here. Look, the other thing I want you to pay attention to is the websites, how their websites look. If it looks very rinky dink, right? Very like, yo, like my 13 year old sister could have did this, right? If it, if it looks very, um, what's the word, right? I think I've already expressed how I feel about this website just based on my comments. That might tell you something about the mobility, the, the features and benefits, the user friendly use of the online banking itself, right? That's important when we're doing velocity banking is, you know, take a look at the website and see how they're positioning themselves. This looks very like cheap, okay? So they got a personal line of credit here and look what they're offering is cheap. Overdraft line of credit also available up to $1,000, okay? So that might not be the same as a personal line of credit. So they're not giving us too much information. Let's view the rates here. HELOC rates as low as 5.75%. That's pretty high, right? It's a 15-year home equity line of credit. So the first 10 might be amort uh, revolving and then it changed to amortize or the whole 15 years might be revolving. But 5.75 is pretty high. You know, we could, we could most likely find something less. Now... Personal line of credit as low as 12%. So there they go again, 12%. I'm just gonna write that down. So, eh, I'm not that attracted. Let's keep going. Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union. Let's see, let's do Cairo or, or Cato. Let's see, what the heck is that? Open a Casasa cash. Look at this, see, they put more work into this. Do you see how rinky dink this site was? Rinky dink, right? Come over here. They caught my attention with whatever the heck that word was. This might be an interesting bank to do business with, right? Let's go to loans because we're looking for the debt tool. So we go to home loans, boom. Very interesting how they put home equity line of credit as the second option. That's another interesting thing I pay attention to, right? Is I'm like, huh, most banks, they put their home equity line of credit or PLOC all the way at the bottom of the site and they typically don't even put too much details, right? But here we have this bank. They might know a thing or two about what we're trying to do. Maybe, I don't know. So it says access to power your home equity line of credit. You can get a you can get a HELOC card to spend your funds. See, see, I'm already something is is brewing inside of me already. Where I'm like, oh, okay. Look how they're using the language. They're saying velocity banking without even saying it, right? They're speaking in our in our language. Access the power of your home equity line of credit with a home equity card. That means I can pretty much automate velocity banking probably, but we're going to, you know, we'll call the bank, go through the steps and make sure you can use the card anywhere, just like your debit card. So I can use that card likely to make my car payment, other debt payments and any other expense. That means my money stays in the HELOC for a longer period of time reducing the borrowing costs. Not bad, all right? Let's see uh, Let's see if we can find their rates. Don't see it, maybe at the bottom here. Usually there's like a button somewhere that says our rates or rates. But you can put that on the list, right? Home equity line of credit and then we just wanna get more info and we'll go through the thing. Then we do uh, personal loans and it looks like they do not offer personal line of credit but they do offer a HELOC. So we'll put them on our list. Let's go back. So I did Cairo, I did South Florida Credit, uh, South Carolina Federal Credit Union. We did Carolina Trust. Let's go to Rev here. Another nice looking bank, see? Higher quality. Makes me think that their debt tools will be higher quality. Lifestyle loans. Line of credit and lifestyle loans, okay? Now they're selling it in a way to get you into more debt, but that's okay, because you guys know better. You've been watching me. Applying for a line of credit. Um, ah, so we got to put in our information. We won't do that. See where it says rates. See all loan rates. Recreational, personal, line of credit. Boom. Ooh, 9.9%. So at this point, if you were in South Carolina and you're doing your research and you saw 12%, 12%, 12%, and then boom, after our fourth bank that we hit, this is why most people stop after they look for two banks and you missed out on a lower rate. So now 9.9% is our new low. Can we go lower? I don't know. Got to keep doing research. So they offer personal line of credit, $20,000 being the max or less, as low as 9.9%. Um, and that's obviously based on your credit worthiness. Okay. Then they have home equity line of credit here, but they want you to contact them to get more information, right? So they made it a little harder, 
Let me go to mortgage loans here. Let's see if they put it on here. HELOC loans. Got to be careful. There is such thing as a HE loan, a home equity loan, and then there's a home equity line of credit. So you always want to make sure you're crystal clear with whoever you're talking to. Hey, I'm looking to acquire a home equity line, not a loan, All right? All right, so we wrote, we write that down. Rev Credit Union so far has the lowest interest rate on a PLOC in South Carolina, All right? Just based on the research we've done so far. Let's keep it going. And let me know, you guys enjoying this? Put this in the comments. Let me know, is this, is this helpful? In terms of in your own state, what you could be doing, you, you go on Google, you have your windows open, right? And you start opening up the different sites. Let me know if this is valuable. Here's another one. South Carolina National Guard federal credit union so you most likely probably have to be in the military national guard in order to qualify for this kind of stuff now here's the other thing i'll say depending on what state you're in what department you serve in government military fire department police department right typically there will be banks catered just to you and you will potentially get rates that you can't find anywhere else so if there's anyone here who served in the military, anyone here in the police department, fire department, government, right? Or maybe you work for a Fortune 500 uh, company that's that literally has maybe their own bank, their own credit union. Typically, you'll find HELOCs and, and PLOCs um, at rates that are unheard of, right? Because of the their niche, who they're serving exactly. So let's go to personal loans here. Boom. Line of credit. Boom. Credit limits up to 15K. Monthly payment is 3% of the outstanding balance, which is pretty high. We don't care for that. Loan rates in turn based on credit worthiness. They're not giving up what the rates are, but hey, if you're in the National Guard, you can put that on your list. Let's look at real estate loans, home equity loan, but we don't see any information on home equity line, all right? So you want to be careful. But again, you can put that on your list if you're in the National Guard in South Carolina. Boom. Let's look at this Santee Cooper Credit Union. Another nice looking website, loans, personal, checking line of credit. Got to be careful with these words. Sometimes, often, a checking line of credit has much higher rates than a personal line of credit. So this bank seems to only offer what is called a checking line of credit. We don't know what the rates are. Um, so you just want to be careful with that. So it says with a signature line of credit, you can have peace of mind knowing that your checking account has overdraft protection of those times when you need it most. Let's go to loan rates. See what they got here. Load, load, load. Come on. I think my computer is uh getting hot. Too many windows open probably. Come on. There we go. Oh, ooh, okay. Spoke too soon. Look at that. Signature line of credit. 7.99%. That's our new low. So we went from 12 to 9.9. .9 to 7.99 being the lowest now icing on the cake would be if the line is you know offering a, a credit limit that's higher than the other ones you know and if not that's cool it just depends on our situation right home equity loans at 5.5 percent but they might have a home equity line of credit so you got to pay attention to that those are the questions that you would ask once you get on get someone on the line so look at that santee is now in first place so South Carolina State Federal Credit Union, is that the same as South Carolina Federal Credit Union? Let's find out. And then there's something called State Credit Union. And where was I? Santee. Let's do this. CPM Federal Credit Union. Let's go to rates. Checking. Da, da, da. Personal loan. Mortgage first. Arm. HELOC. Okay. Look at that. Variable. 10-year draw. 1.99. Introductory rate. How long? We don't know. So you would... You would evaluate, hmm, do I take a fixed rate at 5.99? If Velocity Banking tells me I can be debt free within five to seven years or less, and I get 1.99 for the first year, how much more damage could I do up front? Because that's what it's about. It's the upfront damage that causes a long term effect, right? So this is what we're, you know, constantly looking at. Let's see. I didn't see a personal line of credit. Go to loans, personal, personal, oh, line of credit as low as 9%. Ooh, okay. That's not bad. CPM Federal Credit. Gotcha. Let's keep going. That state credit union, loans and credits, home equity line. Cool. No closing costs. Low AP. Oh, look at that. Enjoy an introductory rate of 3.5. After one year. Mm, that is juicy. 3.5% one year. I like that. Rate will revert to the regular variable rate, maximum being 18%. Cool. Bar up to 85% LTV, not bad. Okay. 
no closing costs, no prepayment penalties, no annual fee. Oh, 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 not bad at all, guys. So this bank so far, the uh, credit limit would need to be increased by at least 10,000 to avoid closing costs. Okay, we're typically getting way more than that. Nice. For a limited time, mm, keyword, limited time. It's probably gonna go away with uh, inflation continuously going up. So that makes sense. So if I'm in South Carolina and I have a home that has quite a bit of equity in it, I would argue so far state credit union looks very attractive. 3.5%, no closing costs, no annual fees, no prepayment penalty, right? And I get up to 85% of the home value minus an existing mortgage, of course, right? Very attractive. And this is what I do. Look, I want you to, you know, go back when you watch this video again, and I want you to see how much time it took us to do this. Like, obviously, when I'm alone, not recording, I can go much faster, but I'm actually talking it through, going slow, showing you the different banks. What we've been spending, what, like 30 minutes or so doing this? So 30 minutes of your time to find the best bank. You're basically qualifying the bank before you even call them. So that's a great way of qualifying the bank. You do the research, look at the website, look at what they're offering, jot down the, you know, the numbers, phone numbers, the addresses, the different um, locations that they have. State Credit Union is in Columbia, South Carolina. So that must be a major city. I think the other one is Charleston. I think that's like right here. So yeah, not bad at all. Let's see, Palmetto. We haven't hit them up yet. Palmetto doesn't look too bad. What is the hotheads challenge? Interesting. I like banks that do stuff like that. You know, they like throw interesting stuff your way. Okay, so doesn't look like they have a line of credit. And I'm not seeing home equity line of credit. But let's see if it shows it in their rates. Hmm, that's probably why I didn't write them on the board. So notice how this bank doesn't even show it. Doesn't mean they don't offer it. I've learned that too a couple times. But it's not so attractive at the moment. Now there was another bank that I have found... I don't see on the list here. So it's called Founders Federal Credit Union. That was one that I wrote down. I don't think we hit that up yet. Let's go to personal, oh, personal line of credit. Look at that. Relax, your money is there. Interesting, they wanna be funny. Okay, ooh, 9.9, .9. okay. That was very similar to that other bank at 9.9. .9. So you got some competition. I'm getting a military vibe from this website, but I'm not sure. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then they also had home equity line. Relax. Use your equity. <laughs> yeah, look at that. This bank wants to be funny. As low as 5.5%. Eh, okay. It might be worth considering, but so far state credit union still has the better deal, right? So again, you're doing, you're doing your research. You're calling the banks. You're going to the source and you're asking the source, how do I get approved for these things, right? Now, in addition to everything we did here, especially for my new people, you're going to want to hit this playlist all about the line of credit. I go in depth, in depth, how to get a personal line of credit, the best personal line of credit. What is a line of credit? Multiple lines of credit, requirements for a line of credit, how to use a line of credit, what to avoid with a line of credit, how much you should apply for a line of credit, how many credit lines should you have? What do you need the line of credit for? Now that is a really good video to watch when you've gotten to the process where you've qualified the bank, you've qualified the line of credit, you've positioned yourself, you've gotten all the data and you're ready to get approved, you're ready to apply for the line of credit. One of the questions they will ask you is, what do you need the line of credit for? Based on this answer could make or break you, right? If you say, I want the line of credit to start a business, uh, red flag, never say that. Um, I want the line of credit so I can do velocity banking because this kid on YouTube who I don't know and never met named Denzel, not Washington, um, told me that, you know, I could pay off my mortgage in, in less than five years. The, the bank is going to be like, what? And look at you with three heads. So you don't say that either. You don't say I'm, I'm getting this line of credit so I can do velocity banking so I can pay off all my debt and pay less interest. So you guys profit less. Uh, no, we don't say that. Watch that video. You'll get an in-depth on what to say, right? One of the key things we say, I'm looking to get the line of credit to pay off some debt reduce my expenses, increase cash flow, and build my credit. Very simple, nothing crazy. Those four key components. I'm just looking to pay off my debt. I got some debts I want to get rid of, consolidate. You have to speak bank language. I'm looking to consolidate. They love that word. Looking to consolidate some debt, pay off some debt, 
and uh, just kind of, you know, reduce expenses and increase my cash flow, put myself in a better, you know, position overall. And I'm also looking to use this line to build my credit as well. Bomb. No red flags. Okay. This video is great preparing to obtain a line of credit, right? This is great because once you found the bank, qualified the bank, you got all the details, right? You're getting ready to apply. Um, before you apply, one of the things that you're gonna have to do is open up a checking and a savings with that bank. That is a form of establishing rapport and a relationship with the bank. Now you're not just doing it just to do it, but it's gonna help you do velocity banking faster because if all your income, paychecks, and bills are coming out of the same bank that you have your line of credit at, then you don't have to do external transfers and potentially pay unnecessary fees to do velocity banking. So that is a primary video you're gonna to wanna to watch. Another video on how to use a line of credit, how to qualify the line of credit. So I, uh, years ago I did this, how to qualify the line of credit. And so here I am doing it again, and then it says how to get a line of credit in a crisis, right? Are we not in a crisis? Yeah, you know, COVID, high inflation, we're in a recession. Um, yeah, we're in a crisis. So you're gonna wanna watch that video as well. So that's powerful. Then if you wanna really position yourself, here are tons and tons of case studies going as far back as 2018 to as late as this year on, <coughs> excuse me, on how to get the, uh, how to do velocity banking all the different debt tools, right? Multiple case studies, guys, multiple case studies, dating all the way back, 2018 up until now, how people all across the United States are doing velocity banking effectively. And then this is a phenomenal playlist on velocity banking in a crisis, right? And when you go to my YouTube channel, you click playlists, you'll find these things. So I talk about, you know, how velocity banking works, in a crisis, how we pivot, how we prepare, how do we position, all that stuff. So these three playlists are critical, right? And that was that bank. I can close that out. We went over the most attractive banks there. We did good stuff. We did some good work here. So I'm going to take it back to the board. And that's how you best prepare, right? Best prepare for what we're trying to do.